Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. Today we're going to be covering Psalms 103 through 104 and 1 Corinthians 2. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice so that the reading of your Word will be a blessing to you and for those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And they all said, Amen. Psalm 103 of David Praise the Lord my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins, and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the angels. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, he de his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abundant in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our inequities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The life of a mortal is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with the, their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules all over, rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his workers, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Psalm 104. Praise the Lord, my soul. Lord, may God you, Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. The Lord wraps himself in light and with a garment he stretches out the heavens like a tent and lays the beams of his upper chamber on their waters. He makes the clouds his chariots and rides on the wings of the wind. He makes winds he, his messengers, flames of fire his servants. He set the earth on its foundation. It can never be moved. You covered it with the watery depths as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains, but you rebuked the waters and they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. They flowed over the mountains. They wet, went down into the valleys to the places you assigned them. You set boundaries that they cannot cross. Never again will they cover the earth. He makes springs pour out, 
pour water into the ravines. It flows between the mountains. They give water to all the beasts of the fields. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the sky nest by the waters. They sing among the branches, and he waters the mountains from his upper chamber. The land is satisfied by the fruit of his work. He makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for people to cultivate, bringing forth blood from the earth, wine that, that gladdens human hearts, oils to make their face shine, and bread that sustains their hearts. The trees of the Lord are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. There the birds make their nests. The stork has its home in the junipers. The high mountains belong to the wild goats. The crags are a refuge for the hyrax. He made the moon to mark the, to mark the season, and the sun knows when to go down. You bring darkness, it becomes night, and all the beasts of the forest prowl. The lions roar their prey for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they steal away. They return to lie down in their dens. The people go out to their work, to their labor until evening. How many are your your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things, both large and small. There, is, there the ships go to and fro, the leaveneth which you formed to frolic there. All creatures look to you to give them their food at the proper time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. When you hide your face, they are terrified. And when you take away their breath, they die and return to dust. When you send your serpent, they are created, and you know, and you renew the face of the ground. May God, may the glory of the Lord endure forevermore. The Lord rejoice in his works. He who looks at the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smolt, smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. May my meditations be pleasing to him as I rejoice in the Lord. But my sinner, may sinners vanish from the earth and the wicked be no more. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord. That was Psalms 103 through 104. Now we're going to turn to the New Testament in 1 Corinthians. New Testament, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 2, that is. Now then, 1 Corinthians 2. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you. I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. God's wisdom revealed by the Spirit. 
2 Corinthians 2, 6. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom a mystery that has been hidden in that God disdained for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has revealed to us by, the Spirit, by His Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught to us by humans' wisdom, but in words taught by the spirit, explaining spiritual realities with spirit-taught words, with spirit-taught words. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness, and cannot understand them because they are discerned. Only through the Spirit, the person with the Spirit makes judgments about all things, but such a person is not subject to merely human judgments for who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him but we have the mind of Christ and there you have it first Corinthians 2 which concludes the Bible with Briscoe for today and so the Bible with Briscoe 2020 for today and so um Tomorrow, we'll be covering Psalms 105 through 106 and 1 Corinthians 3. Father, I just thank you for your word that you have bestowed it upon us so that I might be able to read it and be uh, your messenger of the word of God. Shenandoah Briscoe, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Thank you, folks, for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2020. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope that you are too. <laughs>